Yo, right, guys, this is Game with Luke here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Advanced Avengers Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we did update the team slightly. A couple of things did happen. We managed to come to this place. We're in the Village of Water now. But before I go ahead and break down the team for you and show you all the team changes we've done in between the episodes, please do go ahead and leave a like rating down below. It's greatly appreciated. And if you leave a comment also somewhere during the video with your feedback and stuff. But yeah. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the team and what I've done in between episodes. I did say I was gonna get everyone to level 40 because the levels of the trainers and stuff were getting kind of high and that was worrying me, so I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna level up. So we do have Komodo, like, V2 because the old Komodo died and then we found a fire water Gyarados and called him Komodo 2. So we have him with Crunch, Flamethrower, Overheat, and Hydro Pump. Now I'm considering getting rid of Hydro Pump for Surf because Surf hits more often. Uh, it did have Water Pulse and Hydro Pump, right? And I was thinking, when I learned Overheat, learned Overheat level 38 or, 38 or 39 or something, and I was like, I don't need Water Pulse, I can just teach it Surf, have a well-rounded Water type move, have Flamethrower, and then have Overheat for like my backup, because it does like 140 damage, which is stronger than Hydro Pump, so it makes sense. I'm gonna, I might get rid of Hydro Pump for Surf in a bit. Then we have Rough Lit level 35. Now, the reason I didn't get him to level 40 is because apparently this little guy evolves level 36. He didn't learn any new moves, He's super close to leveling up though, well, kind of halfway there to leveling up to level 36, um, where he will evolve into the, uh, what is, I don't even know what it evolves into. Braviary. It evolves into Braviary, so that's about to happen. We have Totem. Now, I did decide to teach this Pokemon some new moves. I got rid of Growth for Earthquake. He learned about Earthquake quite late into level 30s. And I remember we had the TM for Earthquake, and I didn't teach it to him because I didn't think it would be, um, like, necessary. But I haven't really seen us use Growth like amazingly perfectly well yet so I thought you know screw it I'm just gonna get rid of growth for earthquake and then we learn rock blast as well and rock blast hits multiple times which is really useful better than rock throw at least it does have a little less accuracy which is kind of worrying but I'm sure we can deal with it next we have Suicune who tried to turn extreme speed um, but I decided to keep try attack just to more, have more PP and you know we had the chance to freeze burn and para par paralyze and we froze something three times in a row in the last episode we recorded so you know freaking yes then we have Conch, whose moveset didn't change at all. He did try to learn Zap Cannon, but that's like a 50% accuracy, and I'm just not, I'm just not gonna deal with that. I already know my luck is bad as it as is, so I don't want to sit there and try and launch Zap Cannon to people with a coin flip, because you know, I already know I'm gonna hit tails when I call heads every single time. But um, honestly, at this point, I don't know where I'm going. I honestly don't know where I'm going right now. I guess there's a guy up there. Maybe I should speak to. Actually, wait a second. Hold on. I'm gonna do that because yeah, I should have probably done that in between episodes. I'm pretty sure Ruffle is like level 34 or something, right? So with that, we uh, we now have a Braviary. So this thing can actually be used now. Like it's gonna be able to be used in battle. Like lit that that squash down sprite though. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, so let's have a look at these stats. Let's have a look at these stats now. Who do you compete against, Braviary? Yo, that attack stat though. Oh my goodness. Yo, that's amazing. That's amazing. Rocking out with the Braviary. Let me in. It is possible to enter this tower. They say thousand years ago, a legendary Pokemon was locked in here so it can never be, never escape and terrorize the world. Rumor has it only two keys were made and one that once the key has been used it is destroyed. So we need a key. Or two keys, even. We need two keys. Where do we go? Okay, so there's a building down here. Should we check out the building down here? Let me just hop across here real quick. Actually, whilst we're waiting as well, let's teach... Let's teach Surf. Let's teach Surf to you. Because we want to get rid of Hydro Pump. Let's teach Surf to you, because you can learn Surf. Let's get rid of Charge, because ain't nobody using Charge. Everyone has Surf, which is great. Alright, so we're going in. It is possible to end this tower. They say that's the energy Pokemon who is locked in here can never be escaped from the tower as well as two kids blah 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 blah. Okay, so we can't go. Can I go in this one? Is, are you gonna say the same thing? Yep, you're gonna say the same thing. Alright then. Um where where do we go? Oh the gym, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Polyrath, I, I Polyrath, I don't have time for your shit. Hold on, I need to go in here. And if we're doing the If this is the water, village of water, then surely we should have conch out to deal with this, because we can just shockwave everything. Whoa. Can I surf here? You can't surf in it. 
Oh god damn. Battle me. So we have Blaine here, who's the water, so looks like the tables have been turned, sir. You are now the Was that trainer's name really swim lots? Ho Bagel. I don't know how I don't know what to say to that. I have no idea what to say to that. And that bulb beam did a lot more damage than it should have, to be honest. Considering like I'm level 40. I'm gonna do this in my creepy voice because I think it's suitable. <clears throat> I need to get close to the mic for this, so um, just bear with me. Well, you have a lot of balls. Oh yes, a lot of balls. Daring to defy Minty, but it is that you are brave or merely stupid. I'm bit stupid. So, apparently, Blaine is the water guy, and he and he, and he appreciates the fact that we have a lot of balls. I quote, a lot of balls. Anyways, so we have the, uh, the dugong here, which is fine, because Conch can real quick shockwave this thing, RQ. And if I remember, actually, someone drew me some art where I held up the electric-type cloister to my ear and was like, Please, Magic Conch, tell me everything! Which I thought was great. So, uh, as to whoever made that, uh, I'll make sure to put a link on screen, or in the description, and a picture on screen now for you guys, if you're interested in that. But, um, I love getting fan art, and I want to start featuring it more, so if I do get any more, um, just tweet it at me. Uh, I'm gonna try and do my best to, like, sort of feature fan art periodically through episodes and stuff. When and if I get it. Of course, because I don't have any fan art, and I can't really put any on screen, but... I have seen the odd case where I do get some fan art and I'm just like, yo, I'm so, I'm so happy someone drew this for me. I want to use this. But this guy's got a, is it a champ he's sitting out? No, Polyrath, sorry. It's part fighting type, so I switched it up because we are ice type. Level 45. I don't know why I set out Komodo because I can't do anything. I, have, I only have fire, water, and dark type moves, which are all resisted by Polyrath, so. Let me switch into this guy real quick. Double intimidate it. Double intimidate it real quick. As he hits me with a submission. And that's gonna do nothing now because I did all my things. Let's see if we can burn it. Can we get a tri attack burn real quick? Is that even possible? All we do is get freezes with Suicune. Oh yeah, we're gonna be here a while. I need to do this a couple more times. Oh, he switched to Brick Break. He's gonna heal up, so I'm gonna do the same. Oh, he didn't. Alright, well, good luck then. Okay. That part could have been a problem if he didn't have the minus two attack. My low tick. Okay, so we need to come back into Conch for that one. Actually, we probably could have gone into Totem. I feel like Totem would have been a good idea because we could have Leech Seeded and stuff because I know um, my, my low tick over here is bulky as shit. So how much is one Shockwave going to do from Conch? Uh, I mean... I mean... That's enough. And the final Pokemon is a Feraligator. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out a Totem for this one. Because Feraligator is, is pretty bulky as well, I'd say. If I can Leech Seed it and it's like magical leafing it, that would be great. Let me just do this. Hold these seeds for me. Don't Ice Beam me. Dragon Claw. I should take that. That was a crit. And I ate it up. I ate it up! <laughs> Yummy. So let me see, boom, sap the health, and then magical leaf, boom. Boop, done. It is done. Braveyard, good level 37. Good shit. Good shit, Braveyard. He's trying to learn agility. Can we set up with the, with the Braveyard? That's the little scene. Uh, no thanks. I'm okay, I'm okay. We beat him. We beat Blaine. You may, you may have defeated me, but you will never defeat Minty. <laughs> Farewell, Luke. I mean, we've already defeated B uh, Minty on several different occasions. I don't know how many times we have to do it, but it's, um, whatever, I guess. After defeating him, how many badges does that mean we have? Do we need to get two more? We need to get two more. We need two more badges. And we're good. So, now that we've beat him, where do we go now? Let me heal up. Let me heal up, let me heal up, let me heal up, let me heal up. Do we have to go, um, to the left? To the left, to the left. Uh, what I want to do very- Wait, hold on, is that secret? 
Why would you? <sighs> Whoa. That's so irritating. You put like a little secret passageway and there's nothing at the end of it. It's like, thanks. So can I still not go in here? Yeah, I still can't get in this tower. Okay. So I can get in there at the moment and I think we've pretty much explored the whole of this place. So let us get out to the left and shoot out of here. Let me just get the max repels up real quick though. And speed on through. I just go battle all these trainers and get to the next place we need to be at. I mean, we have fly. We have access to fly, so we can fly back here if need be. Correct. Oh my god. Yo, that trainer spotted me from a mile away. Yo, a double battle. It's your time to shine, Brave Yari. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Kingler and Crawdon. Boom, dead. Kingler's got some insane physical defense. Considering with the Pokemon he is, he has some absolutely insane physical defense. I don't know where it comes from. There's so many trainers. So many trainers. I'm gonna get Constable 45 real quick. Marsh Tom. Oh shit, I can't do anything against you. Just Ice Beam, actually. Croconaw! Croconaw. Look at him. Hey, how's it going? Bye. Good night. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip in these trainers just for now. Kingdra. Well, god damn. Well, god damn. Get out of my way. Luke, you surely are a hero. Please go forward and take down Minty. Take this as a token of appreciation. TM03, which is. That sounds familiar. I don't know what TM03 is. Why do I not, why do I not know what TM03 is? A water pulse? I'm okay. I am okay. Yo, I can't teach Komodo Earthquake. That's annoying. This is a new route. This is a new route. I can catch a new Pokemon. Oh, you. God damn it. Venusaur, bye. Get out of my way. Coming through, people. What's in this grass? What's in this grass? What's in this grass? What's in this grass? Give me a grip. I don't think there are any wild encounters. In oh, wait, I have the repel up. Duh. Duh. Da -da 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 -da. Where are we going right now? I don't even know where I'm going right now. So if I come this way, then come this. Shit. First encounter is a Poliwag. We got plenty of water type Pokemon Poliwag, I'm sorry. Yo, what's up, my dude? We should probably spray the repel. I should what I should have done actually is spray the repel and then wait until I got to the grass and then caught a Pokemon in the grass. Probably gonna kick myself now. Need a queen and need a king. Alright, well see ya. Holy crap, that did nothing! That did not do anything at all. Jesus. They hit a max revive, can't use those. Okay, okay, so we at the town now. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Running around at the speed of sound. Muck and swallow. Uh, let me aerial ace you. Oh my god, you beast. These things are crazy. I've, I've confirmed that these, these Pokemon are absolutely insane and it's toxic poisoning everybody. Get out of get out of here, Swallow. No one wants to deal with that right now. Please tell me I have antidotes. Please tell me I bought antidotes. I bought full heals. Okay, I'm good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Almost, almost, almost had a, had a problem right there. Let me move these back up here. I'm loving Brave Yari, to be honest with you. His attack stat is absolutely incredible. Uh, this way. It's like a maze. Yo, this is, this is like a maze. Wrong way. God damn it. Uh, this way is an item. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Rare candy. Yo, I love how they're giving me a bunch of rare candies. I will take those all day, every day. Okay, uh, where's my max repels? I just wanna get to the next city, cause I wanna, I wanna find out what happens in all of this. How do I get, how do I get to? How, how do I get down there? Uh. Hmm. This way. Yo, how do I? How do I? How do I get down there? There must be some kind of secret passage or something. I don't like mazes, man. There's never any good at mazes. I guess I have to go this way because we didn't battle this trainer. We must have avoided him or we just haven't passed him yet. Yo, get frozen. JK, you broke out of the froze. Freeze froze. XP share. Boom. Handing out 
experience like it's their job. Uh, uh, I already battled the guy over here, right? Where do I go? We already went up here. Whoa! I can walk into this tree. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. No secrets here. Can't walk through this. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. There was just a small hole in the tree that I missed. My bad. My bad. Don't poison me. Fuck you, man. Get poisoned by everything. I feel like the, the guy who made this ROM hack kind of just gave up caring with how much money they give me because I just got given like 16 grand from this one trainer battle. Can't read the sign, cool. Okay, in a cave. Cave of... No okay. Ca See you later. I just, I just returned. Now what? No, I'm kidding. Cave of no return. Cave of no return. This, I feel like this is going to be one of those... One of those caves. There's going to be a total... Bitch, did he just really call that guy Fatty Cake? That's rude as shit. Rude as shit. Um, Shockwave. Swords Dance, no thank you. Holy crap, get out of here. Sizzle. Metal, ah, wait! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. What do you call this guy? It's not the Scyther. Um, let's get a Braviary. Boop. Chopper. He definitely gave up halfway through making this ROM hack. He was just like, yeah, let's fucking just call him Fatty Cake and shop him, man. I don't give a shit. So I don't give a fuck. This drop hack is not even about the battles. It's about the story, you know? Okay, dude. Um, That's not a good Pokemon to be, to be out on, to be honest with you. Catch Stereo Lace. Catch Stereo Lace. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to follow the trainers because usually when you have to fight trainers, they usually lead the way in where you have to go. Usually, it might send you like a backwards route, but I'm still gonna. I'm just gonna follow them because I wanna. I wanna figure out what's going on. There's one there. Yeah, see. Go fight the trainer. Leads you to the stairs. That's a fighting type Pokemon that I can't. That I can't fight against. So I'm gonna have to do this to you. Drill Peck. Yes. Give me Drill Peck. Drill Peck is awesome. I think that's my. I think that's my favorite flying type move. Drill Peck is my favorite flying type move. Fuck Dragon Ascent. Drill Peck. Drill Peg's where it's at. It's that one flying type move you want all your, po all your flying type Pokemon to learn, but like barely any flying type Pokemon actually get that move. It makes me sad. It makes me super sad. This Drill Peg's awesome. It's got such a cool animation in Pokemon Stadium too. It's great. Rock Blast, boom, boom. Man, if you could just hit for more than twice, then we would have been absolutely fine right there. Uh, I'm gonna get lost, I'm gonna get lost, I'm gonna get lost. What do you want? Aerodactyl, catch this Rock Blast. Holy shit. I don't know what happened, apparently I missed. Let's go to Suicune. Ancient power don't do shit. Get out of here. Stupid fucking Aerodactyl looking. Yo, this, this, whoa. Okay, so we're out now. Route 18. Yo, there's so many Pokemon I can catch. I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is we have so many Pokemon in our box already, right? So many. Is there much point in me going ahead and trying to catch more Pokemon when we already have all these things? And then I can just save my encounters later on. Route 17 and 18 are, are, are routes I can come back to later. Ultra Ball, can I? Wait, what the hell? Can't surf this way. Okay. So... Wait, 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 wait. I found a path. I found a path, I think we find found a way. And this thing's level 45? I'm gonna have to grind again in between episodes. I'm gonna have to. Okay, uh, yes, Village of Dragons, what, that sounds so powerful, the village, whoa, huh. that's the, the Village of Dragons, well you already know, Con's just gonna come through a second um, village in a row, because all we have to do now is just ice beam everything, ice beam everything, but we did defeat the, uh, the, the Village of Water guy, and now we have to be at the Village of Dragons. Once we've done here, we only have one more village to go through. So I think I'm going to end this episode off right here, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode of Advanced Adventures, I know it's been quite short and sweet.
but that's kind of like how I do in these episodes. Hopefully, um, well, soon, I, well, not, not hopefully, but necessarily, the, um, the series is probably going to be over within two or three episodes. I know I have a super secret project that is ready to launch, and I'm super excited, but that's probably why I'm trying to rush through, because I just want to get the new series out real quick. But um, if you guys have enjoyed, please do go ahead and leave a like right down below, and don't forget to leave a comment also. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Advanced Ventures.